Well, praise y'all, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. I am Sister Cece, and you are listening to PQLR1 Radio. Today, we are talking to our sister, Kathy KC Shofar. She's been with us uh, a couple of times, but we always welcome her back. Welcome, sis. Hi, Sister Cece. Thank you for having me again. Oh, I appreciate you know it. what? Thank you. I'm going to tell you from the bottom of my heart, the top of my heart and everywhere in between. <laughs> thank you so much for your continued support of Yah's work. I mean, that's just without saying you have totally been a great supporter of this ministry that is yet so young, but you you have been here the whole time. We just appreciate mm-hmm. all that you've put forth for this station. Thank you for your music and your beautiful gift. Praise you. Thank you, Sister Cece. <laughs> yes. Now, if you all have not seen some of Sister Kathy's previous interviews, I would encourage you to go to PQLR1 Radio on YouTube and pull it up, or you can also go on CC on Air and pull it up. I mean, she has some wonderful testimonies. I mean, the one that sticks with me is the one talking about her belated husband. I mean, that just is a testimony within itself, but make sure you look her up, listen to her music and enjoy this interview. So sis, talk to us about what you have been up to. I mean, just, I don't know if you want to go on a personal level or if you want to do a spiritual level or if you want to be a business, whatever, just let us know what you've been up to. Oh, I have to go with the spiritual level first because Yah has been moving in my life Um, It has been, he's brought me to new levels and to get to know him better. Mm -hmm. And in doing so, I've been just taking time out, pushing, pushing back from everything Mm -hmm. and just being in that secret place with him to Mm -hmm. listen, to be able to listen to him, listen Mm -hmm. to his voice Mm -hmm. for instruction Mm -hmm. because it's so important. Mm -hmm. But on a business, I wouldn't say business level, level because for me, my music is spiritual, not business. Yes. But personally and spiritually he has given me the gift of music and allowed me Mm -hmm. prayerfully to release another ep coming up on the 20th of this month so praise y'all wow praise (laughs) y'all for that wow talk to us about the creative process in this particular single and what is the name of the single okay now this is an ep it has about five songs on it okay 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 the leading single would be I Need You Now. Mm-hmm. The way that it came about, Cece, um, I was looking at uh, Facebook and YouTube and I saw all these different videos coming up with our children displaying different things that were not tasteful, you know, mm-hmm. just putting themselves out there mm-hmm. um, worldly in a worldly way. And it was so discouraging that Yah immediately gave me the words to this song. Mm. And I'm crying out as a daughter of Zion Mm -hmm. for our children, for all Mm. the children of Israel, because Mm. we go through so much as as a people. Mm -hmm. And to have our children turn around and pretty much turn their back to everything that our forefathers have gone through for us and to display themselves in such a negative way. I'm not saying saying all the children are doing it. We have Mm -hmm. some very positive young young people, men and women that are making making strides and doing well mm-hmm. in Yah, mm-hmm. but you have those that kind of overshadow everything with all the mm-hmm. negativity. So that song, I Need You Now, was birthed through pain and through the just seeing our, our children mm-hmm. um, performing the way they are. I'm crying out and asking everyone else to cry out for our children. Wow. Praise y'all. You know, that's so true, sis. I mean, we can like step out anywhere, like go to the mall, go to the park, go to the grocery store. And you see behaviors that are very unbecoming, not just to us as parents, but unbecoming to y'all. And it just speaks directly to not only the parenthood, but the grandparenthood. 
Now, as a grandmother myself, I oftentimes wonder, where are the grandparents to step in? Like when you see the parents not taking care of business, this is your duty. You know, this is your right. Duty. That is why you are now an elder. But oftentimes we see the elders, um, you know, going about their business. I'll just say that going about their business and they're not concerned. And I often see, you know, even if the children are not related to you and you feel like you want to say something to them, um, they're they're afraid of what the the child or the young adult child may say to them. Like we know they have a sharp tongue and they may curse yes. you out or whatever. But I feel like the elders are now afraid of that sharp tongue or afraid of somebody shooting them, which is justifiable because they are just really somewhere else. Like it's different. Right. It's a whole new generation now. Not like when perhaps when you and I grew up. Mm -hmm. No, we would sit down with our grandparents and actually listen to the stories and really appreciated those yeah. seeds that they were dropping in us. But I think today, most young people are too busy and even the grandparents are too busy now. They yeah. don't, I'm not saying all, you know, but majority of them are trying to live their best life and the new 20 is, the new 20 is 60, you know? <laughs> They're trying to outdo the young people. So who's the no? The new sixty, the new the new twenty being the new this old sixty, or however they say it, is the the right. old sixty putting on a body shape or a wig, eyelashes, lipstick, and twerking. Right, <laughs> and put it out there too. Oh, That's the new that? sixty. Oh, you know what? I am so thankful that we have the ability to be mindful of this. You know. Because there's so many traps set out for us. Um, there is. We fall into them easily if it not been for Yah. You know what I'm saying? Because I know I, I was. Uh, I'm not even going to say in a, as a teenager. I know how I was a couple years ago. Okay. Period. Point. Right. I'm not saying I was twerking, but uh, still, like, I have been refined even from where I was yesterday. You know, so I would hope that Yah uh, sees fit to rescue more elders so that there are more of us than them so that the attack on the foolishness can be a very righteous one and a worthy one. Hallelujah. So yeah. true because yeah. we need to step in and, you know, save our children. You know, each one can teach one. Yes. You just If you don't have grandchildren, mm -hmm. adopt a child in the community or at your local church or what have you and say, yes. you know, let me just, you know, spill some, some knowledge in, you know, plant mm -hmm. some seeds in this young person. Show mm -hmm. them how to garden, how to yes. truly garden. Let's go yes. back to some of the basics. You yes, know? yes. Why they don't, why are they don't get that important? anymore? Right. Why are these things important? And this is it's timely that you said gardening because you know I listen to. Um, I love TikTok. It's school to me. Like people don't like TikTok because of it's TikTok, but you use right. these things for what they're good for. Like I will get up in the morning with a pad and paper and get on TikTok. I can learn about credit repair, gardening, uh, <laughs> how to make my, my skin glow, you know, just all these different things on TikTok. Right. It's great. But there was a woman on there and she was talking some truth. She said, you know, maybe it's not flooding in your area because it's flooding in California, like massively. And she said... Mm -hmm. You know, it's flooding there, and that's where a lot of the produce comes from. If you're not gardening already, you should be gardening now because yes. they're not going to be able to do anything because the soil is so wet. Oh, wow. Yeah. You can't grow anything. The roots will rot now. You, you can't know? grow. Any and I was like, whoa, that's so true. And then, like, the day before, I saw this, um, this woman. She was teaching you how to save your plastic milk containers, which I don't drink milk. So I would have to go to the Dollar Tree, like my husband said, and buy a bunch of them and, and, and mm -hmm. you know, pour water out or something. But get the, the container, cut it in half, and then you plant in there. And then you seal it back up with tape. And you put those things outside and um, they will grow over time. Oh, wow. It acts yeah. like a, 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 like a, uh, a sun house or whatever yeah. you call that. Like a greenhouse. Yeah. <laughs> a and, greenhouse. Um, people yeah. are like, well, what if I live somewhere where it's cold? No, it doesn't matter. You could still put it out there. Like even if it's That's snowing awesome. and snow falls in it, when it's time for that seed to grow, it will grow when it's in the right environment and temperature. And you've already planted out there. You've already started the process. Versus sitting at home waiting for lettuce that you're not going to have because you can't get it from wherever. 
she just suggests that you, you know, you start these processes now. And these are things that we need to gather. We need to gather this information. And let's say exactly. you're, not, you're not, you don't really know how to garden, but hey, you can um, gather some young people and say, hey, let's learn this together. This is why this is important. You know, right. you're used to things coming from the grocery store, but let me tell you, these things are not going to be available. So let me help you and you help me and we'll help each other. It's so important. It really is. It is so important. So, I mean, they're going to um, need it. We are. Now, have you adopted any grandchildren yet? <laughs> I have two, and, and, but they come to see me to visit me during the summer. And I try to teach them things like gardening. Of course, oh. they're not interested. <laughs> oh. Of course, they're not interested, Cece, but I try to plant those seeds and right. you know, literally teach them how to crochet. My, oh. I try to teach my granddaughter how to crochet. You okay. know. So I do my part. I didn't know yet. How old are your grandchildren? My granddaughter just turned uh, 18. Okay. This past summer. And okay. my grandson is 14. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And like, wait, so, grandma. <laughs> I know, right? You're uh, too grown now. It's like, really, grandma? We Can we go play video games or whatever, you know? Yes. <laughs> They yes. try to get to the movies. They don't yes. want to look at a movie on TV. <laughs> right. And not the movie you're watching. They don't want to see a documentary about the world going downhill. They don't want to see that. Right? <laughs> right. You know. You know. I That's do. what it's all about. Well, you but know, I we have to pray for provision as far as like how to capture their interest so that they can be led into the understanding, Right. Hallelujah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And also show them quiet strength. Like mm -hmm. they've been, they've been shown so much negativity and uh, just, just anger. It's like mm -hmm. anger is everywhere. Mm -hmm. Let's show them a way of handling things. That's a quiet strength. You know, yeah. my mother was like that. She had this, this way about her that was so regal and she would mm -hmm. not raise her voice. She was mm -hmm. very soft-spoken, mm -hmm. but she meant what she said and you knew it. She meant business, right? She didn't wow. play the radio. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow that's you. amazing wow yes. and, and I think you probably picked up some of her ways I think so I tried so hard not to be like my mother but I think <laughs> I, I am just like my mom and my daughter's the same way with me oh <laughs> that's so me. amazing we try so hard <laughs> not to be them but then you look in the mirror and there she is it's like oh. right <laughs> Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I definitely understand. Well, we have to continue to pr be prayerful in this walk because there's so much yes. going on and we have to pray for, uh, you know, when it's time to be quiet, be quiet. When it's time right. to speak like, you know, you, you're a shofar. When it's time to cry aloud <laughs> and spare not, let us do that. You know, because, you know, the Bible talks about there being a time for everything, but unfortunately we don't adhere to those rules and then it ends up biting us in the butt and i'm just i'm thankful that i am learning that i'm learning when to be quiet you know because sometimes situations want to vex you and provoke you but you know yes. you know yourself and you know that sometimes you do need to be quiet but then other times you know it's time to be loud exactly and speak up and just like i was saying earlier proverbs 31 woman we mm -hmm. are that woman you know yes. it doesn't mean you know, when I say, okay, we have to know our position, mm -hmm. it doesn't mean we're under our, under a rug, under our, our significant other or husband, no, no. but we just, we're there to be a help me and we're supportive yes. of him and we're yes. just as important, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, we are there to accentuate who they are um, Hallelujah. and help them be who Yah called them to be. And if you're doing that, your whole household is going to work the way that it is supposed to work, right? Exactly. Yes, indeed. And I think we have to, as women, especially like if you're a woman and you really didn't have, um, you didn't have wise instruction, uh, you have to be able to look to other women to see what it is that you desire that you should be. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And it's, oh, not, yes. it's not with any envy or any strife or any malice or any kind of crazy thing, but it's like, wow, I see that characteristic in this, this sister and I would really like that. So you just be able to put that before Yah and say, yeah, I see where in me, like I'm not that way, but I see that as, as holy and something that you definitely are shining down and smiling down on. So I have to pray for that 
uh, attribute to be installed in me. Not that I'm trying to be her, you know, but right. I do want that what she has. So, you know, there's a way to 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 do those things and and eventually look back at yourself and say, "Wow, I used to fight people," you know. And right. now <laughs> And now I'm cool and cool as a cucumber. Now those but things you know, wouldn't even phase me because I learned to just be quiet, be still, listen. And he showed me how to do certain things. And when you trust in him, he will do that, you know? Exactly. It's like, you know, be still and know that I am Yah. Be you know, still like we have our know. mind have to be in him like his mind is in the Father. Woo. We implement those things because it, because we are actually married to Yah. He's our bride's groomsman. You know, we're his bride. And he's coming back for us. So you know what my prayer is, CC? What is your prayer? I try to ask the Most High to purge me every mm. single day. Just purge me so that I, nothing is in me that's not of him. And that way, when he comes back prayerfully, I just hear him say, well done. <laughs> yes. I pray that every night. Okay. Uh, we, I pray I make it into the kingdom, y'all. Yeah. Like, you know, oh, yeah. not just by the seat of my pants or the skin of my teeth, like, right? you know, whatever you need to do to get certain things out of me so that I will be found worthy. Help me. Hallelujah. Help, right? me. Hallelujah. Yeah. Help me do that. You know, I was thinking I was going to ask you this question too. You know, when you, when I'm listening to your music, I hear it like exactly what you just said. I hear it. I hear you crying out and I hear sure. you searching the father for what it is that you need. Um, how do you, what do you do? Like when you are singing and all of a sudden you just start crying, like, are you uncontrolled? Do you have to stop and start over again? Or do you just cry through it? It's the Ruach and believe it or not on a couple of songs, I sung that song all the way through in one take. I know people will not believe it, but I recorded it in one take. And that was, I need you now. Wow. I recorded that song. It just, it came out just the way it did. And oh. I just poured, I poured out into that song because my, my heart was so heavy for our children. Oh. And the blessing of it is, is that our tears speak to the most high. You mm -hmm. know, it's like our tears are prayers also. Mm -hmm. And the crying mm -hmm. out is a prayer as well. Mm -hmm. So it yes. was just all praises to the most high for that yes. song. And there's another song on the EP called Sacred. Mm -hmm. That song, that song um speaks of Yah meeting us at the door and mm. his ruach is healing us. Mm. That song right there is powerful as well. Mm. Wow. Well, sister, I it's funny you say that because I said that to a person yesterday. I said, you know what? This is not the time for you to be all closed suited, you know, and just closed lipped. I said, you need to on your pillow at night, you need to be crying out. You need to tell them what is inside of you and where you're confused. And, you know, exactly. this, this is your father. He cares for you. I mean, if you can't tell him, you shouldn't be telling nobody. <laughs> right. We have to go to him first and we have to put the most high first in everything. Yes. Every aspect of our lives. Yes. He's the only one that can make the change in you that needs to be made for you to see what you need to see. Exactly. That's it. Like, why would That's you even tell it. anybody else? All they can do is give you a, a McDonald's gift card and say, feel better. <laughs> right. <laughs> and you don't need that. I know. You don't need that for sure. <laughs> yes. So yes. Well, sis, that is a powerful, powerful um, song that you have there. I mean, just all of the songs <laughs> that you have. Like I said, I can hear you crying out and I can hear your passion and Again, your music is the music that we definitely appreciate on the station because it is true. It is authentic. It is worship. It is all that we need to hear. So I thank you so much for joining us. Now, let the thank people you. listening know how they can listen to your music outside of PQLR1 radio. Um, they can listen to you where else? Okay, I'm on all streaming platforms. I'm mm -hmm. on YouTube. I have a YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. I am also on Facebook, mm -hmm. um, Vimeo, mm -hmm. SoundCloud. Mm -hmm. but yeah, they can they can definitely um, YouTube Music, mm -hmm. Amazon. It's on all okay. the platforms. Are you on yeah, Mixcloud? Spotify. Too? I'm are, sorry. Are you on Mixcloud? 
I'm on SoundCloud. Oh, SoundCloud, that makes okay, okay, okay. I'm not sure about Mixcloud. I'm supposed to be on all the streaming platforms, but those are the ones that I'm familiar with. Okay. Some of them I'm not familiar with, but I may okay. be on there. But they can find you. You're not lost. <laughs> Uh, praise yeah i am not lost <laughs> okay well we definitely thank you and we encourage you all to listen to sister kathy casey shofar she is blowing the horn loud and oh, yeah. uh we we hope that you enjoy her sound again listen on pqlr1 radio where ya is first we hope to talk with you again soon if you are one that needs an interview with me because you are a music artist or you're an entrepreneur reach out to pqlr1radio at gmail.com. I'm your sister, Cece. I thank you so much for joining us and we look forward to talking with you again very soon. Praise ya. Have a blessed rest of the day. Praise ya. Let your light shine.